Part 20 of the Military Journals of Two Private Soldiers, 1758 to 1775. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by FNH. The Military Journals of Two Private Soldiers, 1758 1775, by Abraham Tomlinson. Part 20. Lexington, April 23rd, 1775. We, Nathan Barrett, Captain, Jonathan Farrer, Joseph Butler, and Francis Wheeler, Lieutenants, John Barrett, Ensign, John Brown, Silas Walker, Ephraim Melvin, Nathan Buttrick, Stephen Hosmer, Jr., Samuel Barrett, Thomas Jones, Joseph Chandler, Peter Wheeler, Nathan Pierce, and Edward Richardson, all of Concord in the county of Middlesex, in the province of Massachusetts Bay, of lawful age, testify and declare that, on Wednesday, the 19th instant, about an hour after sunrise, we assembled on a hill near the meeting-house in Concord aforesaid, in consequence of information that a number of regular troops had killed six of our countrymen at Lexington, and were on their march to said Concord, and about an hour afterwards we saw them approaching, to the number, as we imagine, of about twelve hundred, on which we retreated to a hill about eighty rods back, and the aforesaid troops then took possession of a hill where we were first posted. Presently after this, we saw them moving towards the north bridge, about one mile from said meeting-house. We then immediately went before them, and passed the bridge, just before a party of them, to the number of about two hundred, arrived. They there left about one half of these two hundred at the bridge, and proceeded with the rest towards Colonel Barrett's, about two miles from said bridge. We then, seeing several fires in the town, thought our houses were in danger, and immediately marched back towards said bridge, and the troops who were stationed there, observing our approach, marched back over the bridge, and then took up some of the planks. We then hastened our steps toward the bridge, and when we got near the bridge, they fired on our men, first three guns, one after the other, and then a considerable number more, upon which, and not before, having orders from our commanding officer not to fire till we were fired upon, we fired upon the regulars, and they retreated. At Concord, and on their retreat through Lexington, they plundered many houses, burnt three at Lexington, together with a shop and a barn, and committed damage, more or less, to almost every house from Concord to Charleston. Signed by the above deponents. We, Joseph Butler, and Ephraim Melvin, do testify and declare that when the regular troops fired upon our people at the North Bridge in Concord, as related in the foregoing depositions, they shot one, and we believe two, of our people, before we fired a single gun at them. Joseph Butler, Ephraim Melvin. Lexington, April 23rd, 1775. Concord, April 23rd, 1775. I, Timothy Minot, Jr., of Concord, on the 19th day of this instant, April, after that I had heard of the regular troops firing upon Lexington men, and fearing that hostilities might be committed at Concord, thought it my incumbent duty to secure my family. After I had secured my family, some time after that, returning towards my own dwelling, and finding that the bridge on the north part of said Concord was guarded by regular troops, being a spectator of what had happened at said bridge, declare that the regular troops stationed on said bridge, after they saw the men that were collected on the westerly side of said bridge, marched towards said bridge. Then the troops returned towards the eastly side of said bridge, and formed themselves, as I thought, for regular fight. After that they fired one gun, then two or three more, before the men that were stationed on the westerly part of said bridge fired upon them. Timothy Minot, Jr. Lexington, April 23, 1775 I, James Barrett, of Concord, Colonel of a Regiment of Militia in the County of Middlesex, do testify and say that on Wednesday morning last, about daybreak, I was informed of the approach of a number of regular troops to the town of Concord, where were some magazines belonging to this province, when there was assembled some of the militia of this and the neighbouring towns. I ordered them to march to the North Bridge, so called, which they had passed and were taking up. I ordered said militia to march to said bridge and pass the same, but not to fire on the King's troops unless they were first fired upon. We advanced near said bridge, when the said troops fired upon our militia and killed two men dead on the spot, and wounded several others, which was the first firing of guns in the town of Concord. My detachment then returned the fire, which killed and wounded several of the King's troops. James Barrett Lexington, April 23, 1775 
we, Bradbury Robinson, Samuel Spring, Taddeus Bancroft, all of Concord, and James Adam of Lexington, all in the county of Middlesex, all of lawful age, do testify and say that on Wednesday morning last, near ten of the o'clock, we saw near one hundred of regular troops being in the town of Concord, at the north bridge in said town, so called, and having passed the same, they were taking up said bridge, when about three hundred of our militia were advancing towards said bridge, in order to pass said bridge, when, without saying anything to us, they discharged a number of guns on us, which killed two men dead on the spot, and wounded several others. When we returned fire on them, which killed two of them, and wounded several, which was the beginning of hostilities in the town of Concord. Bradbury Robinson, Taddeus Bancroft, Samuel Spring, James Adams. Worcester, April 26th, 1775. Hannah Brandish, of that part of Cambridge called Menotomy, and daughter of Timothy Payne of Worcester, in the county of Worcester, Esquire, of lawful age, testifies and says, that about five o'clock on Wednesday last afternoon, being in her bedchamber with her infant child, about eight days old, she was surprised by the firing of the king's troops and our people on their return from Concord. She, being weak and unable to go out of her house, in order to secure herself and family, they all retired into the kitchen in the back part of the house. She soon found the house surrounded with the king's troops, that upon observation made, at least seventy bullets were shot into the front part of the house. Several bullets lodged in the kitchen where she was, and one passed through an easy chair she had just gone from. The door of the front part of the house was broke open. She did not see any soldiers in the house, but supposed by the noise they were in the front. After the troops had gone off, she missed the following things, which she verily believes were taken out of the house by the king's troops, viz. One rich brocade gown, called a negligee, one lustring gown, one white quilt, one pair of brocade shoes, three shifts, eight white aprons, three caps, one case of ivory knives and forks, and several other small articles. Hannah Brandish Province of Massachusetts Bay Worcester, S.S., April 26, 1775 Mrs. Hannah Brandish, the above deponent, maketh oath before us, the subscribers to of His Majesty's Justices of the Peace for the County of Worcester and of the Quorum, that the above deposition, according to her best recollection, is the truth, which deposition is taken in perpetuum rai memoriam. Thomas Steele, Timothy Payne. End of part twenty. Recording by FNH. Please visit www.bookranger.co.uk.